and doing some house cleaning in the van. And I got out all my craft things. I thought, while well, they're out, I'm going to show you <laughs> what I've accumulated. This is my newest wire wrapping. I really like these circle things. I invented That's them. really what I'm going to talk about. was helping my mom clean out her house there were some um, things that she had accumulated from yard sales and flea markets and auctions and things I used to buy big box lots and if I had craft stuff she'd buy it anyway there were metal beads and uh, some jewelry stuff excuse me I'll put this out metal beads and jewelry fixings and some wire and tools and I used those a little bit I tried to make something and sell at craft fairs one Christmas and it was a pretty dismal failure but I held on to these tools and things because what are you going to do with them I didn't want to give them away um, and on my trip east last winter, back in October, I think it was, I was sitting in Colorado for a couple months, and I decided to clean out the van, and I found all this stuff, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll try this again. So, I took up wire wrapping or wire weaving. I actually like the weaving part, but the wrapping is what I'm doing most. And then the question is, well, what do you do with it? Um, <laughs> and of course, everyone tries to sell their crafty stuff. So that's what I'm probably going to end up doing. Right now I'm still learning, but I've been practicing, practicing, practicing. And I haven't done a video on the, that little side activity I have so a lot of people ask vanners what do you do all day or nomadic people and you know, what do you do all day and you know I think I may have said this before but I run out of day before I run out of things to do and a lot of what I've been doing lately is sitting and working on these wire wrappings just trying to perfect you know my skill it takes a long time. I've watched some YouTube videos and tried to emulate or, or you know, copy and then uh, add my own twist to it so that it's not like uh, coloring in the coloring book. And it gives me an opportunity to have a little creative expression and one of the arguments of this particular craft um, is that it doesn't take up a lot of room. At least it didn't in the beginning. However, over time, <laughs> it grew <laughs> into a lot. So here are my rocks. Rocks in the southwest were so beautiful. Where I come from in Maryland, rocks are just rocks. They're all gray and big and ugly. But they have so many different colors. There's a green one. There's no green rocks in Maryland unless they have moss on them. So I was fascinated. Volcanic rock. A lot of these little things from Arizona. The lighting. These still need to be processed. And by processed, I mean these I have to finish cleaning up. They still have a lot of dirt on them. And these are pretty clean, but they need to be polyurethane. Look at the markings on this. These I bought recently. 
Okay, Oklahoma Rose. And there's a myth that as the Cherokee were leaving their tears as they hit the sandstone turned to these roses. They're quite beautiful. And there was a discussion at the gift shop about how rare they're becoming. So I snagged some of them. So here are the fixins. <laughs> Various little bobbles, beebles, beads. I just picked some of these up. I picked some up off the ground, but I kept finding the same thing, Bud Light. So I got a variety of these. I'm going to wire wrap them for a beach kind of motif. Little glass thingies. This is a frog, I think. Mm. keep buying these containers, and I never have really found a system. I'm all that thrilled with, but these tend to fit into things. So these are. I'll put these glass in here. These are pieces of glass that I've picked up on the side of the road or whatnot and sanded down. And we'll use in a wire wrapping. So little thingies I made. Odd little things I picked up on the road. These are some fish pieces from Salt and Sea. And some other little bangles and baubles. What nots. In the interest of space, I've just been making components. And I figure when I get to Maryland, I'll start putting them together in some way that I'm inspired. <laughs> anyway, I made quite a few of these. Oops. <laughs> these little, uh, where are my, I don't know what you'd call them. Anyway, I think they're cool. I like them. They're very tedious. A little bit difficult to make. But I like the looks of them. Then I had some of these that I've made, I'm thinking, for Christmas. And they could stand alone as an ornament or join in a some sort of hanging. And of course, then there's the tree of life. But I don't really like to call it so much the tree of life. It's a tree. This is a winter tree. I have seasons. So here's, I think that's a fall tree. Another fall tree. Oh, another fall tree. <laughs> There's a winter one some another winter one somewhere. And the thought behind that is that they sit you know in the seasons and then maybe have a sun catcher on it. So I did buy some sun catchers. I have some hanging up on my window. I had more but I've taken some down and I do redo them all the time. Um, these are little pins. They're antique, vintage, some sort of old pens. Everybody wore lapel pens. And I've got a box of these cats, dogs, musical instruments, a uh, couple other things, I forget. Anyway, I've been playing with how to wrap them or what to do with them to make them useful. So I have this thicker wire, and I've just been putting them around them. This one just has a sun catcher on it. Here's my horse one. Now a lot of it's fallen off. I have to redo them. So when they're, they really take a beating when they're sitting in this. <laughs> they clang against each other and they get all tangled. But if it lasts, sometimes the stones fall out. If it lasts, I know it, I've done a pretty secure job. If it doesn't, I redo it. All right, I'm going to show you the rocks I've wrapped so far. This isn't all the rocks I've wrapped, but it just gives you some idea. And you saw how many I need to do. This is kind of the newest idea. It's little boxes. My friend Lisa was helping me figure out a faster way to make these little boxes. So I have a bunch over here I have to put together. But I really like... Hey, this is a sloppy one. 
but I really think these are cute. And here's a version of it with circles instead of being square. Oops. Here's a ring I did, but it's really dumb and clunky. So that's just some of the times I wrap them and then when I look at them at later, I'm like, well, let's redo that one. Like this one will probably get redone. I love this rock. I'm trying to figure out how to display it. And I, I guess that's one thing I wanted to point out. I know a lot of people color rocks, those big ones, they get them and they paint them. And I just think the rocks are so beautiful that I'm trying to figure out a way to display it really in its glory and not take away from the rock and still have it be something worthwhile that you want to look at. And I guess you could wear them. I'm not really designing them to be worn, but then you get, you know, you watch a t YouTube video and do something fancier. But isn't that a beautiful rock? I keep telling myself I won't pick up any more rocks. I've got enough. I've got enough. Look at these. These are from Arizona. These little teeny. Oh, they're just gorgeous. But then, you bend down, I've been near rivers, and look at these gorgeous river rocks <laughs> that are smooth. So I got a few handfuls of these, but I swear to God I'm stopping. As you saw, I have so many rocks, I'll never get to wrap them all. It'll take me a lifetime. But, <laughs> it's fun. I'm just not sure there's a market for it. I suppose if you do it cheap enough, there's a market. But one of my summer projects will be... Um, look at this one. It's got a hole in it. This is lava. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful rock. Nice feel. Oh, and here's, here's a series of thingies <laughs> that I'm assuming will go together with all these rocks and things. Anyway, these are fun to make. I love the hammered look. Different shapes are sort of generically ancient. Kind of trying to be careful not to steal native or other ancient people's symbols. So a lot of people say, oh, it's a sun, what do they call them, dream catcher. No, it's not a dream catcher. It's a net. <laughs> not all nets are dream catchers. One day I innocently picked up a rock. It wasn't long until I on purpose stopped and searched for things. Now these things are hanging everywhere and I can't stop making them. So I'm going to be doing a few flea markets this summer to test the waters and then I'm scheduled for the Hippie Fest in South Carolina in the fall. We'll see what happens.